Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing deviations from Beer Lambert's law along with my student Payam Vora. Let us discuss about the Beer Lambert's law. What is Beer's law? The intensity of a beam of a monochromatic radiation decreases exponentially with increase in the concentration of the absorbing substance arithmetically. So, in short, we can say that absorbance will be directly proportional to the concentration according to Beer's law. What is Lambert's law? The intensity of a beam of a monochromatic radiation decreases exponentially with increase in the thickness of the absorbing species arithmetically. So, according to Lambert's law, we can state that absorbance will be directly proportional to the path length or the thickness of the covet. Right. So, as the path length of the covet is increasing, you can see here the number of molecules in the path of this radiation. Suppose here 10 molecules are there. This path is increased. So, it may happen that there are 100 molecules. Still path is increased. It may happen that there are 1000 molecules. So, as path length is increased, number of molecules to be interacted with this particular radiation, they are increasing and therefore absorbance is directly proportional to B. B is path length. Here, the number of molecules, uh, the path length is the same for uh, the sample holder, but the number of molecules, if they are more, the absorbance will be more. Absorbance means what? These radiations which are passing through the solution, they interact here with these sample molecules. Okay. Now, after interaction, whatever is coming back, that is the transmitted light. Whatever is not absorbed, that is transmitted. And the, this absorbance increases with increase in concentration. More the concentration, more will be the absorbance. What is the equation for Beard-Lambert's law? Absorbance is equal to epsilon BC, where A stands for absorbance. Epsilon stands for molar absorptivity with U. Of the sample, that is the covet, and C is the concentration of the compound in the solution expressed in moles per liter. Yes, very good. So, now this constant which we are seeing here, which is molar absorptivity, it is of two types. In my earlier video also, we have seen this particular concept. So, molar absorptivity and the specific absorbance. This specific absorbance is uh, can be referred as A1%, 1 centimeter. Okay. Now, whenever specific absorbance is given to us, the concentration is in grams per 100 ml. And whenever... limitations or deviations of beer lambert's law variation in the absorbance of solution can be because of variation in the path length or due to variation in the concentration of the solution if we plot this absorbance versus concentration graph as i told you if the concentration increases absorbance also increases so this is the ideal graph we should get but many times the concentration if it is too high or if it is too low then those concentrations do not follow beer lambert's law that means we may get for very high concentrations we may get these positive and uh, negative side curves that indicates that the beer's law is not followed at these concentrations even for low concentrations also here the law many a times is not followed. So, these very low, very dilute solutions and highly concentrated solutions, they do not obey Beer-Lambert's law. So, there is only specific range of concentrations which follows the Beer-Lambert's law and we are supposed to make our dilutions in this range only for carrying out assays or percent purity experiments.
so beer lambert's law holds true only for certain concentrations too low and too high concentrations of analyte do not follow this limitations or deviations of beer lambert's law they can be classified into three categories real deviation spectral or instrumental deviation and chemical deviations the real deviations is further subclassified into two refractive index and interaction with the neighboring molecules while spectral can be further classified as polychromatic light and radiations stray radiations mismatched cells or covets the chemical deviations can be further classified as association polymerization dissociation and ph change so one by one we will see these deviations let us first start with real deviation real deviations beer law and lambert law explains the absorption behavior of solution containing low amounts of solute dissolved in it so it is not at all applicable for very dilute or very concentrated solutions real deviations so when the concentration of the analyte in the solution is very high the analyte will begin to behave differently due to interaction with the solvent either in the form of hydrogen bonding or any other strong interactions and the other solute molecules might get of change the absorbance and absorptivity and thus deviate from the beer lambert's law so real deviations are mainly with respect to concentration of analyte number 1 is speed of light in highly concentrated solution the speed of light is less that is speed of light is more reduced while in low concentration the speed of light is less reduced thus it, the speed of light will be more the second point is the distance between the molecules if a solution is highly concentrated then the molecules are close to each other there will be a strong hydrogen bonding for example amine and there will be more amount of energy that will be required to break this bond and the wavelength will shift towards the shorter side while in dilute or low concentration the solute molecules are a little far from each other so a relatively lesser amount of energy will be required to break the bond and due to this there will be change in the absorptivity and eventually there will be a change in the absorbance the next is the refractive index for low or less concentrated solution the refractive index is approximately equal to 1 or nearer to 1 but at higher concentration the refractive index value is greater than 1 that means it is very at low concentrations the refractive index is not that significant but at higher concentration the refractive index is highly significant so that means a uh, refractive index uh, doesn't affect much for low concentrations right ma'am yes ma'am yes so refractive index matters a lot when your co concentration is very high and uh, uh, with respect to this point for very low concentrations the solute molecule may have the solvent adjacent to it for example uh this example i had given uh, for the highly concentrated solution where two molecules of amine they are very close to each other and thus they are forming hydrogen bond now in case of very dilute solution for example uh, this mo molecule i'm dissolving in ethanol okay so it may happen that the ethanol molecule may form hydrogen bonding here so wherever there is formation of this hydrogen bonding we need extra energy to break this bond right and therefore these molecules or these uh, very low and very high concentrated solutions they require extra energy to break these newly formed hydrogen bonds and therefore the absorptivity their absorptivity ability to absorb the uv radiation changes and which will affect the absorbance the next is the spectral or instrumental deviations number 1 is polychromatic b so a monochromatic radiation that is a narrow range of wavelength is desirable and that follows beer lambert's law for example a wavelength range of 550 to 570 nanometer so the bandwidth the bandwidth is 20 nanometers 
but whenever there is a polychromatic bee it will lead to deviation from the bee or lambard's law so here i want to add if the slit width of the instrument is sending uh, many wavelengths at a time for example i want wavelength uh, of analysis uh, as 254 nanometers but instead of 254 nanometer alone the instrument slit width is sending wavelength range from 252 to 256 which includes 254 of course but instead of one wavelength it is sending me four wavelengths so four wavelengths which are bombarding onto the sample now the absorbance will be the net effect of all these four wavelengths now in case the slit width has ability to send more wavelengths at a time which should not be the case ideally okay the slit width has to send narrow range of the wavelengths but in case the slit width is sending 20 wavelengths at a time so whatever absorbance i get that is the net effect of those 20 wavelengths so definitely the absorbance net absorbance which i am getting here that is not correct that is not accurate and this is the deviation from the beer lambert's law the next is the stray radiations any unwanted undesirable radiations might affect the absorptivity and eventually lead to change in the absorbance and deviate from beer lambert's law the third is the mismatched cells or the covert the covert slit with should be less than 1 tenth of the natural bandwidth it should be less than 1 tenth of the natural bandwidth mismatched cells means the covert the material of the covert uh has to be same of and of the same brand only so these were the instrumental uh, instrument related spectral deviations next yeah. is the chemical deviation the chemical deviations occur due to the different chemical phenomena involving the analyte either association polymerization dissociation and the interaction with the solvent to produce a product with different absorption characteristics analyte at low concentration might be inert but at higher concentration it might undergo any of these phenomena for example phenol red it will undergo a resonance transformation when moving from acidic to a basic form due to this resonance the electron distribution will change with the ph of the solvent so from your acidic to basic there will be change in the electron distribution since uv visible spectroscopy is an electron related phenomenon the absorption spectrum of the sample will also change due to the change in ph from acidic to basic yes so this is very well explained in this particular image which we have uh, got from the structural changes uh, have occurred here little structural change so dekhne ke liye it looks very little change but it has changed the uh, electronic transitions electronic environment to greater extent and because of which we see shift in the absorption the acid form we can see its peak is appearing here that is in between 400 to uh, in between 400 and 500 and here we can see the next peak of the phenol red uh, when it is added in base or in alkaline condition it is near to 600 also we can note the absorbance here absorbance initially was lesser in acidic condition and in alkaline condition the absorbance is more thank you very much everyone for watching till the end if you have any queries you can always uh, write to me on my email id as well as you can write your queries in the comment section as usual and thank you very much payam for uh, lending your help uh, and assisting me for uh, preparing uh, this particular video so keep watching friends and if you have not yet subscribed please okay. do subscribe bye bye so, all the bye best then.